The Guam Chamber of Commerce has estimated that there is $100 million out there in Guam's underground economy that goes uncollected by revenue tax every year. $100 million. But in the Criminal Investigation Division of Guam's Department of Revenue Tax, there is only one supervisor and one investigator assigned to go out and get it. Our recommendation was to fund revenue tax what they need to capture the underground economy. That's where we're missing our revenues from. How we, much do you estimate you could capture? They, the, the chamber says there's about $100 million of activity of taxes not being paid out there. So that's what we're trying to capture. Revin Tax's current fiscal year budget amounts to $11.7 million. Ilagan has asked for an increase to $14 million in order to hire the accountants and investigators he thinks he needs to start collecting from that underground economy. What he is getting is only $12 million, a $300,000 increase over last year, maybe enough to hire seven or eight more people. Ilagan says they need at least 75 branch, more. We're short in every branch, and each of these branches uh, within the enforcement um, uh, of any of all the laws that are required. It could be insurance and banking or a, uh, alcoholic beverage control. Uh, we have the buildup that we, we need to prepare for. We've got um, driver's license. If you needed um, uh, your license and you've got to go through a test, the, line, the waiting period is like three to four months to get that. So it, it, it's additional personnel we're asking for. And for what funds Revin Tax is able to collect, a lot is going out the door in the form of tax refunds. A recent audit found that Revin Tax owes $259 million in unpaid tax refunds to island residents. We still owe 2007, 2008, and now we owe, we're, we're paying out 2009. We are paying about 200000 a day, and we pay out uh, four times a week. So that's 800000 so we're accumulating debt. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.